Okay, so in a previous video, I decided to blow up some wine and it's literally completely covered all over the house. Well, all over this room. And uh, I found it absolutely hilarious. However, Crystal did not. So let's, let's sort this out. Sorry about the lighting in here. This isn't where I'd normally record. Well, it is actually. My lighting rig's up there for when I'm doing my electronics down here. But as you saw from the intro, bit of a bit of an issue, and thankfully it wasn't my fault. The airlock, something went wrong with the airlock, and it just wasn't letting air through. It hadn't bunged up or anything. It hadn't filled up with cack, which is what I thought had happened. But I need to clean the place before Crystal gets back from work. So um, she thinks it's going to be like this forever. She thinks there's no way we can get rid of these stains from all around the the entire house, well, the entire room. But I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of all the stains. Very little fuss. I have joint issues all over my body and I've got really extremely bad hips so I can't be climbing on different things and sorting stuff out like that so I have to think smart not hard yeah but I'm going to show you super simple way of sorting all of this out and we'll have it cleaned in half an hour let's get on first thing you're going to need is a random piece of wood now this is actually a bit off an old easel um, so it's actually telescopic it's not going to have any, any um, anything to do with this project but this was actually part of what I used to make the lighting rig up there that's now covered in wine. Okay, next thing you're gonna need, just a regular sponge, which I'm gonna be putting a hole in the middle of. So, give me a sec. I'm using a hole punchy kind of thing, but you could literally just ram a pair of scissors through it. Doesn't matter. As you can tell, this is an impromptu video. <laughs> I'd normally put a little bit more effort into it. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, next gonna need a screw uh, in this case I'm not gonna use a screw I have bolts and holes already screwed for me obviously because this came off a an easel but if you're unlucky enough to have done the same thing as me all you're gonna need to do is drill a hole in the top of your piece of wood uh, my, mine's slightly off center uh, on the side which is absolutely fine what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, 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 we're going to be connecting the sponge as tight as we can to this. Now theoretically this should work for just normal red wine stains if you happen to get them on your walls or the ceiling. Uh, if you do, cracking party, well proud of you. Right, this is our device now. I know it's, it's like something that you find in NASA. Um, now, one thing I haven't said is some bits you will see have been scraped off. Um, can you see that big, big blob there is lighter, well, it's a bluer colour than, hang on, I'll use my newest device for pointing out things. Okay, so this is a lot lighter than these. And the reason is, I scraped that off because it was literally about a kilogram's worth of fruit and wine. Because it was wine that was full of fermenting fruit, which had hit the ceiling, there were, there's obviously lumps of fruit and stuff in it. And I've left it overnight. Crystal thinks it's because I'm a lazy git, which partially true. But I knew I didn't want to have to tr try and scrape it all off the walls and the ceiling and just let it fall on everything else. So I thought if I leave it to dry out overnight, then I can just get a hoover and I can hoover it all up and then we can get about actually cleaning it. So my first job is to hoover the ceiling and the walls. Now, that sounds weird, but it's not the first time I've had to do it. Hmm. Okay, I've just hoovered that area of the wall um, to see, number one, if that'll even work. And it does take a bit of it off, but there's still quite a bit there. So I'm going to have to come up with a, a stage two re removal way of, you know, getting all the fruit off the wall. Um, <laughs> that's so bad. Um, <laughs> You know, something simple that I can just, you know, either scrape it off or, I don't know. I don't know yet. I think I've come up with a master plan. We take our device. Ouch. It may or may not work. But I'm one of these people who thinks as in, what have I got? What have I got around? Well, I've just made a massively cool device, haven't I? Most technical thing I've made in months. Right. Sorry, I know you can't actually see what the heck I'm doing yet, but let's turn it around 
and use the scratchy side and see if that will get the fruit off the wall. If that'll just, oh, nuts. In case you didn't know, I just dropped from that. Okay, any handles. Oh, I got asked about this doohicker in my ear the other day. Uh, no, it's not a hearing aid. I listen to my audiobooks, as I've done since day one. And um, this is just one of the little ear and ear things. Right, let's see if this works. Yeah, it works a little bit. It's still not fabulous. But I don't really want to grab... I don't really want to grab any sandpaper and do that kind of thing but it gets it gets the majority of it off so we'll use this first there we go that one worked really well on that I uh, can't believe I'm having to sand the wall okay so that sort of worked, obviously it's not going to work for a long period of time, so we're getting a lot of um, build-up of the, the um, paint on it, and it will eventually not be scratchy at all. But I've got many of these um, sponges, and it takes two seconds to make, so that's a possibility. But the next thing I want to do is test my other part of the idea, and what we're going to need for that is an old Chinese tub, or tub such a like of it. A Chinese tub, or a tub like it and some cheap, cheap bleach. Right, I'll turn this round, fill it up with bleach, and we'll go from there. Now, before I start condoning the use of bleach on walls, if you're gonna try this, try it in a tiny, tiny bit. See if it works, see if it's gonna get rid of the stains. If you've got carpets on your floor, do not let the bleach go on your floor, etc. You know, use your brain. If, you know, if, it, if it, uh, there's a sofa up against your wall, I'd move the sofa. You don't want to get, start dripping bleach all over your sofa, you know? Uh, just use your brain. And you have to say, so, you sometimes have to say disclaimers on YouTube. It's not really a disclaimer, it's a, you know, disbrainer. Use your brain, you should be okay. If not, you can't blame me, shouldn't have done it. Right, okay, so we're back to this. I'm gonna sort the bleach out. I'm gonna move a few bits and pieces and then we'll test, see if this works. I'm gonna try on these lighter stains just here and here. Um, I've got a tiny bit of bleach. Now again, you don't want this stuff dripping on the floor. Can we see that yet? Oh, that's like magic. Oh, that's, that's not. Look at that. It's gonna stink of bleach in it, but that's all good, isn't it? I said it's going to take half an hour, it's going to take considerably, considerably more than that. But I also didn't think it was actually going to work. Not, I did think it was going to work, I just didn't think it was going to work this well. It's actually cleaning it. Now, as you'll see in some places, I'm just leaving it there um, in a bit longer. I'm like wiping it on and then just leaving it because some bits are quite thick. And to me, that's the best thing to do. Although I've, you know, I haven't got a degree in this stuff. Right, let's put it over here. Like I planned on this being telescopic with my brains and stuff because now I can make it longer. Sadly, although this is a great idea and it's working, my joints are already killing me, so I'm gonna have to do this over the course of quite some time. 
but I will make it by movie magic, like I'm doing it all <laughs> one minute after another, which is the great thing about recording. Oh. later but as I say I can't do large quantities of things that's why sometimes my videos take months to come out it's because it's taken me a whole month but um do you want to see how it's got on look and this is not a before scene if you have a look you can still see marks up there as it's trying to dry and there is still patches where I couldn't get in because it would have meant um, getting it all over pictures and I can't get up there to, t to take them off but look if you have a look here like oh hello um why are you looking at me Christopher Eccleston I'm the doctor by the way right anyway so yeah there's um marks up there and there's bit there's bits still you know on the blinds and so on but other than that it's looking all right maybe what my wife will forgive me after all Right, well, there we go. I hope that's kept some of you married um, because it was touch and go with me and Crystal. So, awesome. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.